there's nothing immediately wrong with this ad. You can imagine it as a postcard mailer, an email as a post on a social media platform. It delivers its message clearly and with four smiles. But the announcement doesn't catch your breath. Why? Everything is stable in this ad. We essentially have two squares, an area with text, and a photo. Both feel static. The text is centered and centered in a frame inside of a larger gray box. The logo is centered in the photo, and the people in the photo are standing still. All of this creates visual stability. Sometimes a stable design is appropriate, but for this subject, skiing, stability doesn't match. Let's look at a design that taps into the energy and excitement of skiing. This ad contains the same text as before, but the photography, text choices, and layout have brought it to life. As a bonus, it includes basic animation that works on any screen. This ad makes me feel the snow on my face, the crisp air, and the rush of adrenaline, which I'd very possibly channel into shopping for gear. How does it do this? Let's start with the photography. For a subject like skiing, use an action shot. In this case, a photo of a skier on the slopes. Crop the photo to position the skier, the focal point, off-center. Do this freehand or turn on Photoshop's rule of thirds view in the crop tool and place the skier at one of the intersections. Fill the entire canvas with the photo to create an immersive window into the scene. Now let's work with the text. Sometimes you may have to follow branding guidelines that limit your font choices. In this case, I'm using Orbitron from the logo, a boxy typeface that conveys an athletic look. But 70% off can deviate from this, and should if we want to emphasize it. Here, it is set in bungee, which I chose for its strong yet playful vibe. Make some contrast between type sizes, kern carefully, and place the percent sign as you prefer. Color the emphasized text so it contrasts with the powdery snow. I pulled the green from the ski jacket. To reduce competition for attention with this big announcement, color the other text a paler gray that recedes into the landscape. Align everything to the left. Let's tackle layout now. To give the text some liveliness, I set the 70% off slightly away from the other text pieces. By tucking 70% off behind some powdery snow, the text interacts with the photo to create an illusion of depth. Just duplicate the photo onto a new layer on top of the text and swipe a soft eraser to reveal some of the text. Place the logo in a natural exit position on the canvas, the bottom right. I've added a little transparency and glow to it to continue the illusion of a multi-dimensional space. At this point, by using more strategic choices in photography, type, and layout, this design is already much livelier than before. I could stop here, and I would have to if this were for print, but maybe it will be used in an email, a website, or as a social media post. So in the next video, let's go the extra mile and add some animation.